Thank you. All right, well, we have very exciting guests here now, the Straubs. They're a British progressive folk rock band celebrating 50 years. The group is in town to perform at Loving Cup tonight. We're joined by the band members, David Cousins and Chas Kronk. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys, thanks for having us. It's yeah, not every day you. we get rock legends in the studio. This is so <laughs> cool. Uh, tell us more about, well, first, before we get to your performance that's coming up here in Rochester, let's get to know you guys a little bit. Uh, where, where did this journey begin? 50 years? It's a it incredible. 50 years ago in West London near Heathrow Airport. Uh, we were a folk group then, playing in little folk clubs. Uh, and gradually we evolved. I was Britain's fastest banjo player. And then <laughs> Rick Wakeman joined the band. He plays with Yes now. And Rick uh, joined us. He was our first keyboard player. And we then were the first British band signed to A&M Records wow. in Hollywood back in 1968. And the first album came out in 1969. And we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of our first album. Chaz here joined us in 1973. So we have, we've known one another for a long, yeah. long time. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Do you guys, you know, when you, when you get to a number like 50, 50th anniversary, does it really have you just kind of look back on your career and say, I cannot believe from where we started to where we've come, uh, what's it like taking that like kind of just retrospective look at your career? I find it difficult to believe that we've actually uh, played for this long. It's extraordinary. And I look back and I think, it just seems like yesterday. I don't know about you, I think you've got the same feeling. <laughs> well, I, I joined in 1973. The band was already moving away from the acoustic roots and becoming, well, it was an electric band by then, really. And I guess with the kind of progressive things that were happening in the 70s, we embraced all that sound. We were using Mellotrons and Moog synthesizers before a lot of people were. And, uh, I can remember coming over and people like Carlos Santana we're touring with going, what is that sure. instrument, you know? And so, you know, the great Carlos Santana was fascinated by the stat straw sound that we were making at the time. That is so cool because you guys really, you said it right there, you've covered uh, just a, a wide spectrum of music as it evolved. Mm. Um, and you guys had the ability to sort of evolve with it, even stay as sort of ahead of the curve, like you mentioned there, with some ideas. Um, but. Have you seen, uh, in your eyes, what's it been like living through it as you see these uh, years go by and this different sort of sounds emerge or disappear or come back? What's that all been like? Well, we, we never set out to be anything. Uh, we, never, we started, as I said, playing in folk clubs. Uh, then we evolved into a, a more classical progressive sound. And then we, we, it's as every new member of the band joins, they bring something different into it. And that's the way we've managed to stay fresh all these years. And it's a continual evolution. And I think now the band we've got, we'll be playing at the Loving Cup tonight, the band we've got is the best band we've ever had. Yeah, no, yeah. just hearing the music there, it's incredible. We're going to be hearing a performance coming up as well. We're excited for that. But one more time, I want to make sure people at home know, as, as they're listening to this interview, they want to see you guys play in person. Where is that, and how can they be involved? It's at the Loving Cup tonight. Uh, it's a club here in Rochester. It's the best music club in Rochester. I'm afraid I can't tell you exactly where it is, the location. That's all right. We got it covered. We'll get you all that information. <laughs> the Straubs are going to perform for us coming up in our next half hour, and we have your local headlines coming up 